Uh, it's Terrence Gangster Wiggins, aka OG Giggity. Shout out to Video Wayne. Make sure y'all check out Rare Report. We're gonna talk about Eric Maurice, cold gangster, kill out the Magnolia Project. Eric Maurice, the first uh, first person to uh, introduce me to take a hit. He tricked, you know. Actually, it's a old time I paid him to hit a dude. But by me bragging and talking all this old gangster talk, he called himself testing me. I went on a mission for him and he reaped the benefits. So over the years, Eric Marie used to be like, I'm Eric Marie. I'm Eric Marie. But uh so Eric Marie and Black and Mo was your cousin, they used to run together. Eric Marie was one of the four horsemen that people always ask about. Uh, that, that that the crew that they had back in the day, but I know Eric Maurice and Black and Mo was running tough, right? So when I get out of jail, when I come on a juvenile jail, I don't have nobody to run with. So I had contact Black and Mo to get a gun. So he let me know him and Eric was running together. You know, he told me they first hit that they did across the river. Over in Morero, knocked on the door. Wow, uh, yo, such such hold on, hold on, babe. As soon as the boy walked up to the door, the door was open good and was letting loose in that thing. Got paid, and them them two had where they fell out about something, right? I don't know what it was, but I know Black and Mo was mad one day, and Black and Mo big and swole. So Eric Reese hanging out with Tippy and a few other fellas, all the you know. In the courtyard, other gangsters in the courtyard, Mo was like, You keep on something by my name, I'm gonna beat you up, right? So I'm like, I know Eric ain't no match for Black and Mo for fighting. Now, gunplay, Eric Marie sick with it. But fighting Black and Mo, ah, I don't see that happen. There's only one person in the project that had yeah. to fight with Black and Mo is Boo Ross. OG, he's the OG Boo Ross. And he had a fight with Stone. But anyway, let's get back to the topic of hand, Eric Maurice. So, uh, Eric Maurice, robbing people, cutthroat, wilding out, been shot up, and balls of uh, Cali came through there. He had a big shootout with them, got hit up on the porch. So, Eric Maurice had his fair share of that gangster life. And like I say, him and Black and Moser run head up. And I was happy when they fell out because that let me be Black and Moe's right-hand man. I could just be Eric Maurice's right-hand man. But when them two fell out, I got right there in the car. And, and yo, me and Black and we used to be in a, a Clara and Tyler down the court. Me and Black and Moe were sitting on uh, the chick named Gangster uh, porch. We sit on her porch. And right across the courtyard from us is a chick named Tamara. Uh, Eric Marie, Tippy, stuff, all the gangsters, they over there on that porch. So me and Black and Mo be chilling by ourselves over here, and they right across the courtyard from us. We looking, and one day Black and Mo say, "Man, that's my cousin. Man, I can't shoot him." And I'm just looking. I, I'm just keep my mouth closed because they family, and these two killers, two cold killers out the Magnolia Project. So I'm just letting him tell me what he want to tell me or what's going on with them. But he never quite said exactly what the beef was behind. I just know Black and Moe was mad, and he said, yell certain stuff at him across the courtyard. And I just be like, man, if Eric Marie's up there too, it's going to be working in this courtyard because both of them was gangsters. But um, Eric Maurice, he had a dirty cop on his side, and what he would do, the things I learned I, I learned later on, but he uh, get a dope boy. Oh, you want to buy some coke? All right. You gonna get a bird or something? Yeah, all right. He gonna say the bird. Police gonna pull up. Listen, I don't have a warrant. You let me search this car. If I find drugs, I'm just gonna seize it and let you go. But if you don't let me search the car, I'm gonna hold it till I get a warrant, search the car, whatever, and then you going to jail. So a lot of guys used to go away. So one guy caught on to what was going on with the situation and killed Eric Maurice. But uh, I witnessed. I witnessed something vicious, Eric Maurice. I can't really say it to you all here because now I'm learning that 
when you talk about homicides and stuff like that, people, family are still living. And dudes are, you know, people are like, man, you know, you got to think about the families and that could put his family life in danger. And then you got this, this. So I learned all that so I can't. But man, he a cold soldier. I watch him walking down, check something. I'm talking about walking with a dude, talking like they were just clowning and playing, yo. And they walking. I'm going to put them all uh, in the Cali, yo. I'm just throwing out. They walking. And man, all I just, yo, I witnessed this. The dude on the ground, <gasps> gasping for air, died. Dome shot. Shot to the dome. And a matter of fact, the OG who sent the hit sent his son to make sure it was done. And Eric got paid. Yeah, Eric got paid, man. I was young witnessing all this gangster stuff going on all around me, yo. So, like I tell people, now that I'm older, been around, you know how big it's, I uh, ran with the best of them, shot at the rest of them. That's what I did, yo. I ran with some of the cold gangsters in that, in that city of New Orleans. And you know what, y'all? I'm going to say I'm the only one, but there, 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 there may be another one or two, maybe three of them, that was in the mud, out there in the streets that never drank, never smoked weed, never snorted cocaine, never snorted heroin, and got busy. Cold drink made me boot up. But, like I always say at the end of my videos, leave this stuff here to just entertain my purpose. See no drugs, stop the violence. And man, let's help this average you because they need us. Much love. I'm out. I'm getting tired. Time to go to sleep. I done had me a big day today. I enjoy myself today. Uh, I love you all. Thank you all for all the support y'all been giving me. Because it's been good. It's been love. Nothing but love, y'all. Nothing but the love. So, I'm going to get on out of here. And go ahead on. Lay it on down. I'm getting tired. But I got something else. Oh, I got the OGs. I got two OGs, y'all. I forgot to say this. I got two OGs from the Magnolia. Boo Rose and Jerker Man. Jerk. Jerk, my big bro. Jerk used to look out for me when I broke out of two and jail. He would give me shoes and stuff when I didn't have. I was on the run. I was hiding out. He used to give me ballets too, y'all. Ballet animals. So, Jerk and Boo Rose want to come on and they want to straighten because they don't like how the twins represented the old side. So, they want to come on and they want to get some straight. They want to get some get back because they felt like Rashid and I just demolished them. So, we're gonna, I'm going to give them a chance to speak. On the old side of the Magnolia Project, because ain't nobody knew about the old side of the Magnolia Project. People know about the new side of the project. Eric Marie from the new side of the project. Black and Mo, the new side of the project. Stone, Killer Stone, new side of the project. I represent the new side of the project. Mosquito, doing the stone, we all represent the new side of the project. So that's a, some, that's, man, listen. That's like a nuclear bomb. Oh, let me get, oh, Jimmy Kamooch. Come on, man, cold gangsters. Representing the new side of the project. So I'm going to give these guys a chance to speak on the old side of the project. But all I'm going to say, y'all wake me up. Because I'm going to be maybe be asleep when they get to saying they say. You dig? I'm out of here. Why? Much love.